I'm Justin Warsalevich, and I'm a full-time speed skater here at the Olympic Oval in Calgary and also a part-time student at the University of Calgary in kinesiology. What's really kept me in the sport and kept me motivated was uh, the dream of going to the Olympics. Training as a, a speed skater is a, a full-time job. We train twice a day, usually six days a week, so it keeps me really busy. In 2004, I was uh, diagnosed with WPW syndrome. Okay, Wolf Parkinson White syndrome is really an, ele an extra electrical pathway in the heart. My skating career um, seemed to be taking off, and uh, then I was diagnosed with a heart problem. I met Justin in 2004, late 2004, and he was one scared young man at that time. Uh, I, I was scared, I mean, I was scared about my skating career and also just my, my general health uh, for the rest of my life. My concern, more so than the Olympics, which was important, of course, to all of Canada, was that uh, he was safe and his health condition and long-term health came first. Olympics number two. Thankfully, I had a great doctors at the Libin Institute and performed two ablations on me. In Justin, he had an extra electrical component, which allowed an arrhythmia to circuit, to do a circle in the heart. And it could potentially go very fast. I was back on track before I knew it. And we had to find out what Justin's pathway was like. In order to do that, you have to put catheters up into the heart. And with Justin, it was rather close to the normal conduction system. So we had to have a discussion with him about the potential risk that he would end up with a pacemaker. And as you can imagine, Olympic dreams would be uh, not very feasible in a 19-year-old competing in what he was competing in if he ended up with a pacemaker. In 2006, yeah, I won uh, the silver medal in the team pursuit. Less than two years prior, I was you know, I had a, a heart condition, and so to go on to represent my country and then win a medal was so surreal. Uh, I feel extremely lucky to be able to have gone to the Olympics and represented my country. My career has been roughly 10 years of skating international races, so um, it would really be nice to hopefully end my career by representing Canada in, in Sochi. One thing that I've learned through all of this is that uh, anything really is possible if you if you really put your put your mind to it. I just want to say thank you to the doctors, specifically Dr. Kavanaugh and Dr. Mitchell, for um, everything they did for me. And not only them, but the the entire staff of Libin. Um, they gave me confidence that um, you know that things were going to be okay, even though it was a serious condition. That uh, I was going to come out of it uh, healthy and. Um, able to resume my career, so I honestly can't thank them enough. It was just fantastic to see him go to the Olympics. He told me he was going to win a medal, and he did. And I told him I, I wanted to see that medal. He had to bring in that medal. I'm sure there weren't too many more people aside from his parents and coaches that were more proud of him. He had some extra parents <laughs> pulling for him because we really felt a part of that medal, and it was just so great to see. I want to hug. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It is so great to see you again. Yeah. It's great seeing you too. Wish you the best. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much.